Time is running out. The bull run is upon us and there's some changes that you may need to make in your portfolio to have success in this bull run. So hit that like button and let's jump into it. All right, today we're gonna to jump into some things that you might wanna change, consider changing in your portfolio. Now, guys, I'm not your financial advisor by any means. These are just some things that I'm personally looking at with my own portfolio. And I've heard a lot of people asking about certain coins, whether they are worth holding for this bull run or not here. Just gonna give you some ideas to think about in this video here so you guys can consider it and see if you guys wanna make changes for yourself in your portfolio. But that is completely up to you. It's your own decision. I'm not telling you to do this. It's just to get you to think about certain things that before we get into this bull run you might want to consider making any changes to your portfolio before it takes off because once we're into the bull run and everything is taken off it can be too late so if, if you're going to make any changes to your portfolio now is the time to do it so let's jump into it so xrp one of these coins that you know really everybody's talking about xrp going to a hundred dollars a thousand dollars all these ridiculous stupid price points and i'm sorry for all the xrp maxis out there but xrp is not going to do extreme numbers in this bull run in my opinion i just don't think it's going to i think if it would have had any kind of really positive movement it would have already done so earlier this year after it had pretty much won the lawsuit with the sec and we were pumping back in like december of last year november of last year through march xrp really didn't hardly do anything i'm on the one year chart here and you know i think the highest it got up to was like 75 or 80 cents or something like that i really don't see xrp doing anything in this bull run this is one that, you know, I don't even have in my portfolio. I had considered it uh, based off of what other people were telling me. But the more I looked into XRP and its price action over the last few bull runs, I just don't see it happening uh, unless there's some kind of very dramatic change in XRP and adoption with it and hype. I just don't see it happening. You know, that's that's just my personal opinion. I'm not trying to tell you to sell your XRP if you if you own XRP. I'm just trying to get you to think about what coins could be better in your portfolio for the best gains for this bull run. In my opinion, there are coins out there that are going to get much better gains than XRP. Another example I would give would be Cardano. Now, Cardano is a great project, but there's not much adoption option going on in Cardano. There's not really a lot of people hyping about Cardano. I think the Cardano hype is behind us. I don't think Cardano is going to perform extremely well in this bull run. If it gets to 100 million market cap, that's less than a 10x from here. Uh, I would think maybe it could do that. Uh, things do get kind of crazy in the bull run and these bigger caps do pretty well, but they're not going to have the kind of extreme gains that I'm looking for. Now, XRP and Cardano and some of the other coins we're going to talk about in this video are good holds if you're looking for safer plays, that's for sure. And you will see, you will see good returns out of these uh, but if you're too overbalanced like let's say you're all in all these big caps that are safer but you're looking for some bigger gains in your portfolio in my opinion I, I would take a small percentage maybe and maybe 10 25 percent and put it into some higher risk plays that, that are virgin coins that have not had a bull run yet that could do well so cardano here is another one that i think is going to underperform this bull run i think it'll do well i just don't think you're going to see fantastic gains out of it i think the fantastic gains for cardano are behind us uh, Hedera H bar, another one that I think is going to underperform this bull run. It topped out at around you know 50 cents. It was just a really quick wick to 50 cents last bull run. The real high on it was around 40 cents, and nobody really caught that 50 cent wick to the high and sold. Everybody held their tokens. There's a ton of people holding millions and millions of H bar from the last bull run that plan on selling between that 40 and 50 cent range. And I know this because I see a lot of influencers out there talking about it. They got stuck holding this from the last bull run, and they're going to be dumping on it. So you know I could see maybe a 10 to 20x potentially out of h bar of this bull run so i think it'll do well and i think it's going to perform uh you know it just depends on how well you're looking to get gains now if you're holding hedera it is a great project and it could potentially do better than that maybe up to two dollars but uh, in my opinion i think you know between 40 cents and a dollar is where h bar could potentially top out this bull run with a chance that it could do better than that but uh it is a safer play and it is a good project if you want to have something safe in your portfolio I definitely recommend holding it uh but if you're looking for something to get more gains out of there's a lot better coins out there that you could be putting funds into uh, that are higher risk plays so keep that in mind that i think will have a lot better returns now i'm going to get a lot of hate from this video i'm going to see people commenting in this section down below don't listen to the stupid youtubers you know h buyer is going to do just fine and Cardano is going to do just fine. XRP is going to $100, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's fine. You know, you guys can believe that if you think that's going to happen. I personally don't think it's going to happen. And I'm just sharing what my thoughts are. I'm not telling you you should sell your coins because I could be 100% wrong on this. 
I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't tell you what's going to happen. This is just my personal opinion. I'm not holding any of these coins in my portfolio except for one currently, uh, but I think that, you know, even at that, it's a small portion of my portfolio. So if it doesn't perform that well, I've got other plays in my portfolio that'll make up for that if it doesn't do well. But it's one that I want to hold because it's a good project. And I think long term, it's going to play out well. Another one that I think underperformed over the last year is XLM. There's a lot of people holding these older coins from like two bull runs ago that they think these are like the saviors of the bull market and they're going to have their day again and they're going to make these crazy all-time highs. This one I think is underperformed. If you look at its max here, sure it did shoot up to like what 85, 87 cents or something like that uh, for a really quick wick for like a day and then drop back down back in 2017. Uh, and then it wicked up to like 67 or 70 cents here in the last bull run so you know what is that it's not even a 10x from its current price so really you can see it's kind of going down and down from here uh, and i don't think unless something major happens with xlm that this is going to perform well this bull run you will see good returns out of it don't get me wrong but i'm looking for life-changing gains in this bull run that's my personal goal and i'm not gonna play around with these uh these plays because i'm really I really want to make life-changing money in this bull run because this, to me, is probably the last true bull run that we're going to get. And I, I just don't want to miss out by holding too much of my funds into these plays that are old plays that I think were the plays of previous bull runs and not the plays that are going to explode this time around. Another one that, you know, you consider uh, that may underperform would be Quant. Now, Quant is doing okay. Uh, it's holding its price pretty well compared to it didn't dump nearly as much as other coins from you know some of these other coins like if you look at xlm they dumped almost to their previous lows between the bull runs here you know you can see that you know quant held up pretty good for staying around a hundred dollars for most of this bear market and considering that's only a 4x from its previous all-time high i think that's pretty good held pretty good but i just don't know if quant is gonna perform as well as i would like it to i had originally thought maybe it could do a thousand dollars or so but based off of its price action in the last year, I just don't know if that's going to happen. The thing that kind of gives me hope is this point here in 2022 hits like $220 out of nowhere. So $1,000 from there is only like a 4X. So it's definitely possible. Uh, and I, you know, Quant is like a long term play. So, you know, to me, it's kind of worth holding my portfolio. You know, it's less than 10% of my total portfolio. It's not like it's going to make or break me if it doesn't do that well so that's kind of the point of this video is to kind of get you to think about coins in your portfolio that you may think underperformed over the last year you know maybe you want to shift things around a little bit you know it depends on how much you're investing and how much risk you want to take on that's another factor that you need to take into consideration if you're okay with losing your funds to risk making more money on higher risk plays that are like virgin coins that haven't had a bull run yet uh but there are some out there that are really good quality projects with big partnerships and a big following in their social media and that that i've covered on my channel lots of gaming and ai projects that i think will do well if you're okay with risk losing your funds to put into those higher risk plays you know that may be something you want to consider that's personally what i'm doing I'm putting a lot of my funds into higher risk plays but that's just my personal thing that i'm doing now you may need to hedge your funds more because you can't risk losing the money that you've got in and that's up to you and your decision that you want to make but i'm just sharing with you guys what i'm doing and what my thought process is i'm not telling anyone out there to go ahead and do this because it really is up to you and what you want to do with your portfolio i'm not giving anyone advice i'm just trying to get you to think about if there are changes that you want to make now is the time to do it before we take off into this bull run because once things start taking off and some of the coins that you wish you would have gotten in but you held on to these other ones that you're really not sure of if those take off and these ones don't you're going to be kicking yourself if that's the case but if you're still concerned about whether you want to do all of it or not you know my advice is uh, for me i would just take part of that and put it into a higher risk play and keep the rest of it even if it's only 10 or 25 percent or something like that there's things that you can do to keep yourself hedged against losses potentially but still have some funds in for those higher risk plays that could do you know uh 25 50 or 100x play in this bull run so that's pretty much what i wanted to cover in this video guys please hit that like button if you're not subscribed please subscribe and we'll see you on the next video